a watercolor zebra, you will need brushes, a printout of a zebra, some water, and your watercolor. And you might want some handy rag beside you if ever there are any spills. Some planers, when you're doing your painting, please don't leave your brush in soaking in the water. Okay, always wash your brush and just remove it from the water and maybe put it, set it on the side. Okay? Because um, placing your brush in the water will ruin them. So let's see. Here we go. First thing, think of what colors you want for your zebra. So you can go for maybe warm colors like red, orange, um, yellow, and some um, ochre and some browns. Or you can go for cool colors where you will use um, some greens and blues and maybe some white to make it lighter. So you can use those. Or you can combine those together. I plan to use my pink, yellow, some ochre, and some of my um, greens. Depends on how you feel about it. So first things first, um, when you're gonna use watercolor, get your brush, I like to use a hairbrush, and just kind of swish very quickly your paper with water, just quickly. Mm -hmm. So quickly just, okay. So this is usually the first step for watercolors, is just to wet your paper. Not so wet, just a bit of a, like a run through. And afterwards, just um, let it dry a bit. We are not using the conventional watercolor paper in this case. We only have our works board so that we can print out our zebra. So let your paper dry. Um, get dry, but not so dry, but just make sure that um, those water kind of gets absorbed by the paper. And remember, do not rub your brush on your paper. You just um, use the tips of your brush. Okay? Use the tips of your brush. Do not use this part. Now our paper is ready, um, it's a bit wet, so it's just damp. Okay. Now let's mix up some colors. It's clean! I'm using a yellow. If you want to make your um, color lighter, you can dip it on water and somehow blend it a bit. Again, we're not using our watercolor paper, so just be gentle with your paper. Next, I'm going to use again, don't rub, just gently stroke. Lighter, just take it on water and just continue to spread it around. If you want it lighter, I will just spread it with water, not with paint. I will dip with water and just spread it around. Okay. You can blend it a bit with the greens. Again, do not rub, just gentle, gentle strokes. Use the tips of your brush. If you want it lighter, dip it in the water. There you go. Lighter, dip it in the water.
make sure it doesn't dry before you blend. Because if it's if you're not fast and it dries up, it's hard to blend anymore. If you enter a darker shade, you can always add a similar color like this. And again, don't rub, just use the tips. Now, we want to actually have a bit of sprinkle, so we can dip our brush in the color that we want. See, and I didn't use much blue a while ago, so I'm going to dip it in blue. And somehow make a bit of gentle, 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 gentle splash of color. Okay. Careful with your clothes. Now, there are two kinds of droplets that you can make. If your artwork is still wet and a paint drops on it, it will have some kind of spreading effect. But if your paper is dry, then you will have more solid circles like that. If you want to have more solid circles, you will have to wait a bit, let your painting set and dry. And you can actually use your rag to wipe off some of the paint. Yes. Don't worry, watercolors are pretty washable, so that's why um, doing like that, the one with the droplets technique, is good with watercolor. Because even if you get some in your clothes, you can still wash them. No, I'll wait for my painting to dry. I don't see any more of your shiny wet water on you. Surface of the paint. So I'll add more solid colors. And if you want accents to your um, painting, you can actually add accents if you want. I just added some lines to make it look nicer. <laughs> Feel free to do what you want um, with your painting as long as you don't put too much. So make sure it's dry and if you have a smaller paintbrush, you can use that. Or if you have this kind of paintbrush, make sure that you can just use the tip, only the tip. And maybe put the date today. So I just, I just put September. Sign your work if you want. So I can actually just um, depends where you want to sign it. So I'll just sign your work. Here. I usually um, put my surname in my work. Okay, then you are finished. Ta da! And make sure you clean up your space. Okay, clean up your space. Clean up everything using your wet rag. And again, don't leave your brush in the water. Close your watercolors. You're done.